Andy, how many ways? Let me shake your hand first. How are you doing, Andy? Good. I'm doing wonderful. Andy, how many ways do you think there are to earn money? Thank you. Well, you know, it's written in the book that there's only two, just two ways. Now, that's a little shocking to most people. I had a young man the other day say one way. He was really close. <laughs> there's two ways. One is people at work and the other is money at work. They're the only two ways that you have to earn money. Do you work, Andy? Yes, you do. You blow, spend one of those each week. Very easily. What we're looking at here is a $20 bill. If you found someone that really understood how to find gainful employment for that $20 bill, and you gave it to them to put to work for you, then you've got two ways going for you. You're working, Andy, and so is your 20. So do you see, the classical error that most people make is if you want to be a millionaire, you have to earn a lot of money. And of course, that's not true. If you want to be a millionaire, you have to have a plan to be a millionaire. And that's all you need. Why aren't there more people become millionaires? Do you think it's possibly because they're not in the habit of setting one of those aside? What would you say a habit was? We said a habit was an idea that was fixed here in our subconscious mind with respect to money. Now, if there's such a small number of people make it, they, they must have a habit in their subconscious mind with respect to money, but I would say it's a bad habit. But you know, through conscious choice, we can form a good habit. We can renew the mind. And you only have to discipline yourself for a very, very short period of time.